Hey, what's going on guys? Dave from Wake Up It's Football. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. You can also check me out on Facebook and Twitter. I update that stuff daily. Links are down below in the description. Today I'm going to talk about the top five receivers in the NFL for the 2013 season. These are going to be my predictions. So let's get right to it. You got Brandon Marshall, number five for the Chicago Bears. Uh, Brandon Marshall, I think, has his best quarterback that he's ever played with in the NFL being Jay Cutler in Chicago. You know, they played together in Denver and now they're reunited in Chicago. And Brandon Marshall, I think, is uh, a receiver who sees about 55 to 60 percent of the passes from his quarterback. Um, those passes go to Brandon Marshall. Reason why is because the receiving core in Chicago is not uh, a top receiving core like, you know, a Green Bay or an Atlanta or, you know, whoever else who, where you can spread the ball around. Jay Cutler needs Brandon Marshall to be his go-to guy. That's why his numbers are slightly inflated. Um, that's why he's always going to be uh, producing for the Bears or whoever he's playing for. Brandon Marshall has, for the last couple of season, seasons, put up 1,100, you know, 1,200 yards uh, a season receiving, you know, and a good amount of touchdowns every single year. Uh, he's always going to be that guy to go up and grab those jump balls. I like Brandon Marshall, you know, their big physical guy at number five. At number four, you've got Demarius Thomas of the Denver Broncos. For his first couple of seasons in the NFL, he wasn't really able to produce much. Uh, his quarterbacks weren't too solid. You know, he had Tim Tebow there in his second year where they ran uh, him in the option. They were the number one running team in the NFL, but Demarius Thomas didn't see too many balls thrown his way. Uh, Demarius Thomas, now that he has Peyton Manning in Denver, has drastically improved. If you want to see this graphic here, uh, compare his first two seasons in the NFL to his his second year, or sorry, his third year, um, those numbers are completely different. And that's because he has Peyton Manning, who's going to be able to get him the ball um, and with that being said, and, and with Demarius Thomas being the number one receiver in Denver, you can't help but put him in the top 10 to top 5 talks. I have him in at number 4. At number 3, you've got Julio Jones. Julio Jones has been in the league for two years now. You're a very young receiver. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons traded up with the Cleveland Browns back in 2011. I believe it was the number 6 spot to grab Julio Jones. And the reason why is because Roddy White is getting older. Roddy White is, I don't want to say is out the door but he's on his way out he's in his 30s um, he's still going to be able to produce for the Falcons but I think Julio Jones is going to transition to that number one receiver and Roddy White's going to get downgraded to that number two receiver and possibly as early as this year uh, Julio Jones is definitely a deep threat uh, Julio Jones is definitely going to be a stud in Atlanta because he's got uh, Matt Ryan there who can get him the ball. And I think Matt Ryan, if you guys watched my previous quarterback, my top five quarterback video, I have Matt Ryan in there at number five. So Julio Jones, I believe, is going to be one of those top five receivers in the league as early as this year. His numbers are going to uh, start standing out to people. And uh, what better way to do it with you know your quarterback uh, and Matt Ryan so it's going to be one of those dangerous teams in the NFC in Atlanta and it's because of Matt Ryan Julio Jones and Roddy White and number two you've got AJ Green another one of those 2011 draft selections he was drafted fourth overall by the Cincinnati Bengals now AJ Green is I put him ahead of Julio Jones is because uh, he's been able to put up better numbers with not as good of a quarterback uh, Andy Dalton, I think, is one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the NFL, but he's not as good as a Matt Ryan. So uh, Julio Jones, is, or sorry, A.J. Green has had to do more with slightly less at the QB position. I think Andy Dalton is going to work off of A.J. Green. I think A.J. Green is going to be able to work off of Andy Dalton because they're both still, you know, this is going to be their third year in the NFL. And I think Andy Dalton is going to be able to surprise some people this year. Uh hitting on AJ Green another one of those guys who's slightly taller is going to be able to go up and get those jump balls for you he's going to be able to help your quarterback out but uh, I can see him being and developing into one of those premier receivers in the NFL and I think he's already started to do that in his first two seasons he's had 1,000 plus receiving yards each year he's been able to uh, I believe it was seven touchdowns his rookie year 11 touchdowns this last season so A.J. Green is one of those receivers you need to watch out for. A.J. Green, I think, is a top five receiver in the NFL. And at number one, I think this is unanimous, Calvin Johnson of the Detroit Lions. He's been at this spot, I think, for the last couple of seasons. He's been a stud ever since he's been in the NFL. And um, without a doubt, 
Calvin Johnson, I think, is the only receiver that can go up in double and triple teams and grab the ball almost every single time. I've seen him do it, and every time he does it, I shake my head and say he's the only guy can that, that can do that. Calvin Johnson is just, I think, on a different level compared to all the other receivers. Um, He's been able to produce every single year. As you can see there, his numbers for last season, 1,900-plus receiving yards. But the only thing I was slightly surprised about was he only had five touchdowns. I think that's going to be able to uh, get bumped up a little bit. I think he'll go for more touchdowns this season. Ryan Broyles on the other side of him I think is going to get more looks from Matthew Stafford. I think they're going to want to spread the ball out a little bit more this year in Detroit. So his yardage for Calvin Johnson might be... Uh, might not be 1900 but I think he's going to get more touchdowns this year the point is this Calvin Johnson I think can be unanimously unanimously agreed upon that he is the number one receiver but if you don't agree with that throw your comments down below I want to know what you guys think about my top five I want to know what you guys think about your top five throw your top five down below and any other comments for that fact uh, in the comments below in the box there but uh, before I leave remember again Facebook, Twitter links are down below. I update that stuff daily. Click on those. But that's all I got for you guys today. I'm out.